Hey brothers and sisters, I was just thinking about how waiting for the rapture, we are waiting on such a supernatural event. It is so supernatural and I was thinking, you know, it takes a lot of faith to be waiting for something that is so out of this world, so different than anything we've ever experienced. And we are waiting and we are hoping and we are excited. It takes a lot of faith to believe that one day Jesus is just going to take us up to the clouds and meet us in the air and then take us to heaven to be with him eternally. It takes a lot of faith and you should be encouraged by that to know that you have this faith in God, that you believe so much in something and you know it to be true. And it is just such a beautiful thing to know that our God is going to snatch us away from this world one day soon in his will, in his timing before the seven year tribulation. It's a beautiful thing. And I just want to tell you that if you're still watching, that there's a crown of righteousness laid up for you in heaven. Many have probably turned away from the rapture. It doesn't mean that they're going to not go up in the rapture, but they're going to lose rewards. They're, they won't have the crown of righteousness. Many probably have said, you know what, it's taking too long. I'm just going to focus on my my immediate life and he'll come when he comes and then they don't have that urgency to reach souls anymore they don't have that excitement anymore that longing to go home so many even apostle paul had that excitement about the rapture wake up slumbering christians jesus is coming soon so the churches aren't talking about it and many in the community in the christian community are not talking about it but this doctrine of the rapture is what gives us this excitement and this just this urgency to reach souls and lights a fire in the christian it is just such an amazing feeling and remember, the Pharisees could not recognize Jesus who was right before their eyes. In the same way, many can't recognize the signs of his soon return that are right before our eyes. So we see all these prophecies coming to pass and they're converging. And the Bible says, behold, or, no, it, it says, um, when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, your redemption draws nigh. And it says that he comes quickly. Remember, good people won't make it to heaven on their own. They need forgiveness of sins. A lot of lies out there are just saying that you can earn your way into heaven, but Jesus did it all. Jesus paid the ultimate price on that cross. He took our sins and nailed it on the cross. He who is sinless took on our sins. And those sins were killed on that cross. All glory to Jesus. Behold, Jesus comes quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Stay strong in the Lord. Stay excited. Keep watching and keep spreading. Just keep sounding the alarm and spreading the gospel that Jesus is coming soon and that he loves you and that we need him to enter into heaven. Jesus is the only way. God bless you all. Maranatha.